my friends, my name is LaserJet and welcome back to Train Simulator and welcome back to another World Cup race! Woo! So in today's World Cup race we've got three different teams from three different countries. We've got the Union Pacific 844 from America. We've got a DB Class 10 from Germany. And my personal favourite, a Bullied Pacific West Country Class. And yes, you guessed it, it's Bodmin. But we're not just going to have three locos running today, because I thought of something better. Because behind these steam trains, we've got some diesels too. We have an American diesel, a German diesel, and a British diesel. And these guys are going to be hooked up behind the steam engines because we are doing a double header race. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the LazyJet YouTube channel, click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so stay notified to the channel. Right, so let's get this race set up, and let's play some Train Sim! <laughs> go to the world editor and we want to click on the train icon and we need to get our trains in position so uh, we'll stop the american train so get the bnsf uh, i think that's what it is and put it behind the union pacific uh, 844 and put you in the platform and then get the uh, german diesel which i believe is a v200 or v class 200 something like that uh, put it behind the German steam locomotive, uh, or the, the German steam engine, uh, put it about there. And then get the class 50 and put it behind Bodmin and pop you right, I think maybe about here will do just nicely. And then we need to program them. So engine number one uh, on platform two. And we'll have you about 140% power. I think that's a good number. And then engine two on platform, I believe it's platform four. Yes, it is. And we'll have you at 140% power. And engine three on, I believe, platform five. Yes, and we'll have you at 140% power as well. So that's the programming done, and as always, I'm going to be driving the remarkable Superclass 47, and I think we'll have you on this track for today. Uh, and I am ready to go. Are we ready for setting off? Because I certainly am. So let's click play. Are you sure you want to save the scenario? Yes, I do, and I want to get racing. Let's start racing, and away they go. So for the double header race, Team Germany is in the lead at the moment. In second place is Team America, and in third place is Team Great Britain. So which one will be victorious in today's race? Let's find out. So I'm going to accelerate and reposition myself on my chair because uh, then I'm more comfortable. Uh, Team Germany is well in the lead and speeding up extremely fast. Uh, let's see if we try and catch up to Team Germany. So Team America is in second place and Team England is in third. So if we try and link our speed to see how fast these two German trains are doing. So we've got one steam train and one German diesel. So uh, let's try and apply my brakes and see if we try and uh, link speed. So we're doing about ooh, 150 miles per hour. So if we slow down a little bit, they're doing about... I say about 130-ish miles per hour, 133 maybe, let's see, have a look, yeah, that looks about right to me, 130 miles per hour, looks about right, but let's have a look at Team America, oh my god, they're speeding up really fast, oh my god, oh my god, they're going really fast, oh my god! So if I speed up a little bit, so there's Team Germany, but Team America is coming up from the rear and it's coming up really fast. Here comes Team America, about to smash Team Germany. Here they comes! Way! So Team America is fully in the lead. Where's Team Britain? Uh, they are, oh, they're, they're a bit far behind, but they might catch up. I mean, they're, they're not falling behind too badly. I mean, they're still going quite some decent speed, but just not as fast as Team Germany or Team America. So I enter the big loop now. I see Team America got a massive lead. Uh, Team Germany is now in second place. We're going to try and catch up to Team America. So if we accelerate up to probably 200 miles per hour, maybe 210, 220, 230, 
240, I think 240 will do, I think that, 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 that's, a, that's a good number, so 246, that's my current speed, so let's have a look on the big loop, there we go, uh, oh, and I might need to slow down just a little bit, so Team America has got a very uh, decent uh, lead at the moment, so I'm trying to play my brakes and try and link speed, how fast is Team America going? I say about 182 maybe miles per hour? Yeah, I'd definitely say that's about 182 miles per hour, just, maybe. Or maybe 181, something like that. So let's have a look on the mini-map. So we are here next to Team America, uh, who is in uh, second place. Is that Team Germany or Team England or Great Britain? Let's have a look. I mean, there is a, there is a train coming up very quickly. I wonder who that's going to be. It looks like that's Team Germany. Uh, oh no, wait, hold on, I missed. How can I miss? Team Great Britain is uh, is overtaking Team Germany. Team Germany is now in last place and Team Great Britain is in second. Uh, I don't know how fast Team Britain is doing, but that is really fast. <laughs> View. I've got like a brilliant linked uh, speed next to the 844 and I got how fast those wheels are going that is amazing but I need, do need to slow down for the uh, downward spiral because uh, every time I go on the downward spiral uh, I always crash so apply my brakes uh, just a little bit maybe get under 100 I think that'll be uh, a good speed maybe maybe uh, maybe down to maybe about 63 miles per hour and the sound has got the sounds bugged i've got a bug a, a sound bug for some reason this map is very buggy ah! oh my god oh my god team great britain has just come up from out of nowhere wait team britain team great britain wait wait for me wait i'm trying to catch up so there's team great britain and up there's team germany and just in the distance is team america how fast is uh, Team Great Britain doing? Because I was linking speed to Team America and they were doing about 180-ish miles per hour. So if we link speed, is this thing going faster? So like, try and link speed. No, it's doing 170, I'd say 175 miles per hour. So it's doing about 10 miles per hour slower than Team America. But Bodmin and the Class 50 are doing extremely well. I want to get like a really cool shot of next to, uh, next to Bodmin if I can. Look at this. Hey, <laughs> that is such a cool cab view. So let's have a quick cool camera shot. Yeah, oh, that is amazing. And because they're going so fast, the sound is just so bugged. And that is hilarious. So doing 160 miles per hour. She's slowing down. So Team Great Britain is still in second place. I don't know where Team Germany is. Uh, let's have a look. So we're Team Germany. Uh, I can't actually see them. Oh, they're all the way down there. Oh, no. So Team Germany is in last place and far behind. Uh, we'll leave Team Great Britain uh, as they are and try and catch up to Team America. So let's have a look. So where's Team America? Oh, I saw them in the distance. It was a tiny little, uh, little blur, but I do see them. There they are in the distance. It's so weird seeing a class 47 doing this speed. Oh, I need to slow down, actually. Um, apply my brakes. Uh, oh, no, I broke too soon. I braked too soon. Um, let's try and link speed again. So how fast is Team America doing? The Team America's doing very well. We're doing about... Oh, they've slowed down a bit as well. They're doing 140 miles per hour. So if we link speed, there we go, doing 140, and it looks like these guys are doing 140 as well. So there's Team America, and in the distance I see Team Great Britain. This might be a very close race towards the end, although, or, or maybe not. We don't know. Every time I do these races, I never know what the results are. What I do know, Team America is slowing down quite a bit now. It was, it's doing about 120-ish miles per hour. Let's have a look. Yep, see, I'm doing 121, and they are actually starting to slow down just a little bit hmm. so there's team america where's team great britain i don't see them um oh there they are <laughs> you can see them in the distance that is so funny um so how is team america oh team america slowed down a lot um Remember, my friends, uh, when we get to the finish line, it's the first train to stop. That is the rules on my uh, train simulator racing uh, videos. Uh, the first locomotive to stop is the winner. So the first team to stop is still classed as the winner. So the rules have not changed. That's that's how the rules have been ever since I started um, train simulator racing. Although, I, you know, I've been doing a lot of train simulator racing for many years now. Like... I can't actually remember what my, what my very first train simulator race video was. But I'm guessing it could be the French TGV versus the American uh, Acela Express. I think. 
So Team America has slowed down to about 70-ish miles per hour. I mean, I'm doing 72.4. Uh, I don't see Team Britain anywhere. Oh, no, there they are. Uh, more look to the question is, where is Team Germany? I'm actually quite interested. So there's Team Great Britain, but where's Team Germany? Oh, there's Team Germany. I just see them just right in the distance. They're not, they're not far behind, but um, I'm not sure if they've got enough to actually... Uh, catch up but we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see what the uh what the finish line results are right mr superclass 47 i think we can leave you about there now we don't need you anymore you've done uh, your job we can leave you right here as usual we, we we don't need you at the very end do we no we don't uh so here's the union pacific 844 and the um I used to know what this thing was but uh, i forgot but i'm gonna call it the bnsf uh american freight diesel there, there is a name for this type of class, but I, I don't know. I didn't do my research. Tell you what, it's not a bad looking locomotive though. I quite like them. Although I don't even know what they are, but I still like them. So there's Team America, there's Team Great Britain, and there's Team Germany. It's actually getting very close between Great Britain and Germany because even though uh, the Germans started off very quick, uh, the team at Great Britain uh, did pass Team Germany at tremendous speed, but will it be enough to actually uh, make it towards the finish line? Because uh, Team Great Britain has slowed down quite a lot now. Come on, Bodmen! Come on, Class 50! Oh no, Team Germany is, is back in second place! They've taken the lead! Well, the, the well, not lead, but they've taken second place once again! But we do have a winner! Team America has won the double heading race! Uh, double heading? Double header race. Double header race. Team America has won the double header race and in second place it looks like it's the Germans. Wow, I was not expecting that. So Team America in first, Team Germany in second. Oh, very squeaky brakes. There we go, pocket next to, uh, to the big Americans. And in third and last place is Team Great Britain. That is a bit sad. But that's okay. Bodmin and the Class 50 did do amazing. They just couldn't withhold the uh, the, the, the the lead. But never mind. Uh, they still did well. So park it there, Bodmin. Very nice. Never mind. I mean, like, you know, someone's got to finish last, don't they? But out of these locomotives, which one do you think is the best? Me, personally, I think, without a doubt, Bodmin is the best. I mean, you c cannot deny her. a beautiful uh, Bully to Pacific West Country class, especially as one as good as Bodmin. I mean... In my mind, this is my opinion. I think Bodmin, out of all of them, is the best. Even though it's slow. Although it wasn't slow during the race. It, it, it just had a very slow finish. But again, let me know which one you think is the best, my friends. Uh, leave your answer in the comment section down below. But don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. And if you want to buy some LazyJet merch, I'll leave a link to my website in the description below so you can buy some LazyJet hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, you name it, I have it. But thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! an expert at this stuff um oh oh there we go <laughs> maybe